right. Uh, early showers giving way to uh, clearing below normal temperatures. We're tracking two storms, one tomorrow night, the other Sunday night into Monday. That one a soaker. Both of them actually a soaker. Could be some severe weather along with that. Still a few more pesky showers up until about the 9 o'clock hour this morning and maybe even a sprinkle or two early afternoon. We do clear out. Here's a look at that. Temperature struggling to get out of the 50s today. So eastern end of Long Island will be the last to get it close to around noon. And look at that breaks in the clouds, guys. So at that point, some warming will take place, but temperatures will struggle, mainly upper 50s, low 60s. Most of the five boroughs struggling to get out of the 50s. Increasing clouds giving way to showers on Friday, starting off light tomorrow and then really ramping up. We have two areas of low pressure systems that we're tracking and there is some coastal influence. We have those winds out of the southeast. So we're looking at late Friday into Saturday, Saturday a soaker and then we have another system developing and that's what's going to bring us some more soaking rain and the potential maybe even for some severe weather. So moderate to heavy rain, thunder, lightning, not out of the question, strong gusty winds, 50 plus miles per hour. Hour, that's also a possibility. One to three inches of rain, quite possible. Here are storm potentials, what to look out for. Heavy rain, that's a high risk. Coastal flooding, moderate uh, moderate risk for flooding as well, especially flash flooding. There could be some hail and low to moderate risk for tornadoes. And we'll have more on tornado safety coming up because it is severe weather awareness week. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. We top out at around 58 at Central Park. We will get some breaks of sunshine, becoming mostly cloudy. And then tomorrow starts off dry. Showers developing late and then soaking rain on Saturday. If you have any outdoor plans on Saturday, I'm just saying have a contingency plan. Then we start off dry on Sunday. And then eventually Sunday evening, that second round will come through. And that could mean pockets of heavy downpours, significant rain, and it lasts into Monday. So even for that Monday morning commute, it's something that we're going to pay close attention to because it's going to be a wet start, dry finish, but it may take some time for things to settle, and those winds will really pick up. Last week, we had tornadoes reported, especially one out in Sullivan County. So we're going to keep an eye on things there. Then we dry out. It's a stormy finish to April and a pretty interestingly cool start to May. I mean, it is spring but it kind of sometimes doesn't feel like it. We'll send it over to you, Alex. What can you tell us?